New into stock, we have a Smart 4.2 1 litre MHD Passion Soft Touch 2 door. It's a 2013 on a 13 plate. It's only done 14,945 miles. Great fuel economy. Urban 61.4, extra urban 70.6, combined is 65.7 with a 0 to 60 time of 13.7 seconds. Top speed of 90 miles per hour out of a 71 brake horsepower engine. It's zero road tax, so it is, it's the very, very cheap to run. I've had a few of these cars myself, which I, I run privately uh, just to get to and from work. They're, they're great little things. Um, bags of room in them, good specification, and now they've improved them so much they've got them just about right. It's got sat-nav included, and it's got the glass panoramic roof with also inside uh, the interior shade blind. Alloy wheels, really nice big doors, very easy to get in, in and out. I'll just show you in the boot. There's a little electronic switch under here that flips the glass up and then you've got a catch at either side. Little, again, electric catch that folds down. I'll just dispose of this. Got all my, uh, oh, a bit of my photographic gear in the back. The previous owner was a big chap and he, he was also wheelchair bound so he kept his wheelchair in the back again bags of room these um, i mean it, it, i've got plenty of room where the seat is now and there is so much so much room um so if you don't need four seats and you just want to get around town this is ideal even on the motorway they, they drive fantastic i'll just take you for a ride in it Blade key with the uh, remote central locking that goes into the centre here, just behind the gear selector. Foot on the brake, I'll put my right foot on the brake, and that's it. Uh, start up. Let's just adjust this. Turn the fan down. Radio off. You've got your aircon button here. Heated rear screen. Recirculating air. Direction of the airflow. Your sat nav screen. Um, I'll show you how to program that uh, in a short while. Let's see, menu. So you've got telephone there. I've not uh, programmed my phone to it yet. I'm just wondering whether we've also got, yeah, it looks like we've also got Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, so you've got Bluetooth there, uh, USB, iPod, auxiliary in, and uh, looks like an SD card. Eco switch here, which, uh, I shall knock off straight away. It's really good, good specification. There is bags of room. Um, you think these are going to be slow? They're, they're not. Um, they're, they're pretty comfortable as well. I really like the glass panoramic roof here. There is a shade band, but as you can see here, I've, I've had to fasten the camera because there's no proper headrest, so I've, I've had to stick a camera to the roof, so I can't pull the shade band across but I'll take you for a drive so it's it's kind of a, a clutchless manual or automatic there's a little button on the side there that knocks it between um, manual and uh, automatic automatic's far better once you get used to driving it you know when it's about to change gear if you just let your foot off the accelerator just a tiny bit it changes gear uh, imperceptibly if you drive it silly and you, you you rev and just keep your foot down then the, the gear changes can be a little bit jerky but like now if I just let my foot off the accelerator now it, it just changes gear and you, you don't even know um, I was at Mercedes-Benz when these vehicles were about to be launched the the a-class and also this uh, smart car and there was a couple of problems with these vehicles turning over only if you turned sharp right or left and kept your foot on the accelerator um, it was it was called the the moose test or the elk test or and uh, the, the car turned over to be honest i think most cars would go, at least go on two wheels However, Mercedes-Benz being Mercedes-Benz then over-engineered these little vehicles and uh, 
put skid control and so on in and they are really really fantastic little vehicles and they're also very safe the design means there's basically a, a wheel at each corner so if you do hit something the wheels take a lot of the impact and when you think about that it's uh, an inflated tyre so you, you see a tyre bouncing down the road it does absorb a lot of the uh, the impact it's, it's a great thing and there's also this tritium safety cell so it's quite a safe environment for a little a little car for for the driver and as you can see i I'm, i have plenty of room in here absolutely bags i'm 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 happy um good indicators on the left here wipers on the right your speedo in the center there we're doing 70 miles an hour now it doesn't feel like we're doing that the seats are very very comfortable you can always find a parking space for these as well in fact you can even reverse straight in at a 90 degree angle to the curb and still take up less than a normal parked car. Just put that back to navigation. When you've been driving for a short while, taking your foot off the accelerator becomes second nature and uh, it's just a, a very, very smooth. Round town, it's fantastic. I've even got plenty of headroom as well. Let's check the controls. So the adjustment for the seat is at the bottom left hand corner here and then the backrest is here. It's uh, certainly well finished I would say. The door mirrors are uh, manually adjustable. But to be fair, it's only a matter of reaching there. And the thing with electric switches these days is, if it's just a single driver anyway, you adjust the mirrors once, and then never again. And then when you sell the car, the, the electric door mirrors don't work, and the, the poor car dealer has to put new ones on, or at least get them working again, free them off. Down there, you've got a power socket as well. It's quite dark. I can't uh, can't see. 12 volt power socket. You've got a, a cup holder, which looks like it would take a pint pot too. Um, coin holder. We've got the books, and also. Uh, it's only done 14,000 miles and it was serviced at eight and a half, I think, or 8,400. So we will get a bit of check over as well. counter on the top left there and then clock on the right multi-spoke alloy wheels the 
uh, previous owners put a kind of a convex overtaking mirror on there stuck on but that will come off if you need to at least I think it's been put on by the previous owner got an information display below the speedo there I was hoping to just get up to 70 here motorway is fairly busy so that would be 70 now at 3,000 revs see we're not being blown about it's pretty windy today and it is only a small wheelbase so you do tend to be affected by uh, the road more than a, a larger wheelbase very very nice car to drive as I say I, I've, I've done a lot of miles in one of these um, whenever we used to go to different places to pick cars up I always used to go in this little, little smart car we had I do have a habit of um, when I grab the gear stick, the little button on the side there. If I press that little button, that knocks it into manual. It's all, it tells you what gear you're in, which at this moment would be third. Oh, oh, the lights have changed now. But um, you don't tend to notice until you realise that the, the car is over revving. Uh, and then you just knock the uh, knock that in to put it in reverse you knock it across and back so that's in reverse electric windows are here so that one works we'll just try this driver side although my camera's on it I can't go too far yet that's it So there you go, it holds it in gear, but it's telling me to change. And then there, if you just click forward. But far better, press a little button on the outside. It's an automatic and it does everything itself. Glove box there. I would think that's the, your locking wheel nuts. Let's say there's all the handbooks. And there's some service information. Put that down there. That was a, a live chat, but uh, obviously I can't take it at the moment while I'm driving, so hopefully John's got that back at the garage. It's a small car with uh, pretty much everything the big big cars got. Bags of room, sat nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, air conditioning, pan roof, alloys. Um, Uh, 
access the wipers. There's a rear wash wipe as well. <laughs> That's uh, the jet. The jets on the windscreen washers are, are seemingly more powerful than the engine. <laughs> that, that's, uh, they're lethal. It's uh, just to put things into perspective, the, there's a lot of cars that a full size wheelchair won't fit into. And the, the chap that uh, part exchanged this, his wheelchair was, was extremely big and it sat up behind him. So uh, the cars were very, very well thought out. <laughs> 